Hello, Johnny Jenkins here to give you a review of the Daiwa Tatula Rod. I'm going to tell you what, this is a very lightweight, very comfortable, especially if you have small hands rod. It's very powerful. It's very thin for the actual blank itself, and uh, it looks great, but it fishes spectacular. And it's one of the things that I've always loved for Daiwa rods. And now they've got it in a very affordable rod, uh, you know, that mid-price point, around $150 rod, where you're getting tournament quality. That's something that's going to last, especially with the Daiwa brand. You can expect this to last a long time. They're very sensitive and very lightweight, so you can go out there and fish all day. So it's tournament driven, but on the budget that you need so you can have a lot of rods and so you can afford the high gas prices that we have. So let's go ahead and get into it with any review. I'm going to give basically the specs of the rod and then I'm going to go into my review, my thoughts, and why I think this rod really is spectacular and all the pros and cons. The Daiwa Tatula, one seriously bad to the bone looking rod. It features a zero G design. Basically, this is for like feather light feel. It, it basically makes the graphite really sensitive and it also makes the graphite very dense. So, you have a thinner rod compared to other brands and it allows for a much better feel, especially for people that have a little bit smaller hands. But overall, I mean, this is going to be great for anyone. And it also has ideal actions and a bunch of different sizes for different techniques and different things like that. It also is incredibly strong and sensitive with the exclusive X45 SVF Super High Volume Fiber. That's what that stands for, SVF, Super High Volume Fiber. And that's what I just got into. It's the graphite technology that these uh, Daiwa engineers put into their rods. And it literally makes a big difference in, the, in how the, the rod feels and where the backbone is and, and just the overall design and feel with the actions. And it's one of the things that I really love with dial rods in general is that they're thinner, which is great for feel and sensitivity and allows for, for me, better accuracy. And the backbone of these dial rods, because of this technology, allows for a lot of backbone. And then you have the tip at the beginning of the rod. And, and even with a lot of the different varying actions, that's the general con consensus of these rods. A lot of backbone. It's got a very powerful, basically it's something you can whip around big baits, but you can also have the tip necessary to be accurate and, uh, and cast around different objects and stuff like that. So these, these dial rods are on point and the Tatula with the, the price point and the look and, and everything about it is absolutely on point. It also has EVA foam split grips, which these grips are a little bit smaller um, than other brands. So it's going to be really good, like I said, for those guys that have a little bit smaller hands or they like a low profile reel, the smaller reels that they can grip in their hand and have a lot of feel with. That's going to be absolutely perfect for you. And they have a custom um, Daiwa custom reel seat. And it allows for your hand to be on the blank. And I'm telling you, the Daiwa, I'm telling you, this is part of my review. The, the real seats for Daiwa are the most comfortable and the most lightweight and sensitive, um, just absolutely performing real seats that I've ever had. The Fujis are great, but these ones that they have in the Daiwa, they look slick, they feel great, and they absolutely help with casting accuracy and just having an overall smaller profile to your reels, and, and it really is a big, big, big deal. Moving on to the guides that these, these rods feature, they, they feature Fuji Alkanite ring guides. And these guides are super, super tough. And these are guides that I've had uh, on other rods uh, with Daiwa, and they are extremely good with braid. Daiwa rods are the only rod that I've actually had for years and years and years and never had any problems. So these Fu Fuji Alkanite guides, I promise you, they're not gonna let you down. And they're, they're fairly small for the size of these rods. They're almost like a cross between micro guides and regular guides, but not quite as big as regular guides, but not really anywhere close to micro guides per se. They're kind of in between, which once again, goes right along with the design of these rods, is to be lightweight, small profile, sensitive, and comfortable, and very, very powerful. And these, are gonna la these rods are gonna last you a long time. But that's enough for the specs of the rod and actual in depth on it let's go ahead and continue on with my review my thoughts and what i think about this rod and you've heard a lot about it it's definitely a thumbs up it's a great rod i already have a few fish catches with it and i know just with the die wool brand it's going to last a long time it feels spectacular and this seven foot two medium heavy action rod is going to be just money for some finesse jigs and, and also even big jigs 
it's going to be great for pitching around docks and uh yeah, one thing I actually did not mention is this awesome little knob here. I'm, I showed it around a little bit, but it's aluminum, and uh, it's really lightweight, and it's said to last a long time and not break on you or anything like that. It feels cool, looks awesome, and it definitely matches this reel really, 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 really great. Um, beyond that, man, it's, this rod is sensitive. It, I mean, I keep talking about how good it looks just because every time I look at it, I'm just really impressed, and the sleek profile of it. It's money, and if you're considering a rod in that mid-price point, you definitely should check this out. And once again, the links are going to be in the description where you can check this out and get some awesome discounts from Bass Pro Shops. Um, beyond that, it's 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 a rod. If you're wanting to get out there and step in that, you know, a little bit higher level rod, this is the money. This is where it's at, and uh, it's not going to let you down. Daiwa is not going to let you down. I love their rods. I wish I could have more Daiwa rods. So since they've come out with this Tatula in that awesome price point, you should definitely take advantage of it. This has been Johnny Jenkins. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the rods, reels, line, and all the different tackles and lures that we talked about in this video, be sure to check out the links in the description below, and you can check out some awesome discounts to some of these products from Bass Pro Shops and other retailers. Hope you enjoyed this video.